Apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Preaching this truth to the four corners of the globe. On the brother Shamaria, with the brother Rayab, Racha. Shalawar, Shalawar. The Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Um and, and to those who can receive it, man, because this is only given to the elect few of the nation of Israel, okay, that the Lord, you know, send. The Lord sent the wisdom and knowledge to dwell and suck with us, man. You know, and that's how we're able to get these breakdowns, get this, you know, uh, um, this information, this knowledge, including the Lord's name, man, because the Lord's name is very, very, very important, okay? The Lord's name is what's going to be able to save you, all right? You can't be calling on Jesus Christ. You can't be calling on God or Allah, Buddha, the devil, Satan, you can't be calling on the names, bro. You got to call on Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, because that is the name that's going to save you. Come. Come. Okay, this is the book of Acts, chapter 4, and verse 12. Come. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name given under heaven. So, like, this is Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, mm -hmm. for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Right. And we under heaven, man. Earth is under heaven. All right. So it's ain't no other name other than Yahweh Shai that's going to be able to deliver you, man. All right. Because Yahweh Shai literally means he delivers or he saves. Okay. So. That's literally the only name, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, is the only names that's going to be able to save you, man. There's no other name that's, um, you know, given that's going to grant you salvation, especially not Jesus Christ, man. Okay, okay this is uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 18 and verse 10. It reads, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is a strong tower. And the strong tower is, is able to withstand um, tragedies. A strong tower is able to withstand anything. You know, if a strong tower is strong, stable, supportive, you know, it, 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 it's, it's a shelter. All right. In the name of the Lord, the Lord compared his name to uh, like a, a strong shelter, you know, because when you go to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, you can depend on the Lord, man. You can trust on the Lord, all right? You don't got to worry about if the Lord, you know, um, not hearing your prayer or if he busy doing something else. You don't got to worry about that, man, all right? You don't got to worry about the Lord rejecting you. You don't got to worry about the Lord uh, uh, um, basically forsaking you. All right, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is trustworthy. You could put your, you could put your, your whole faith, life, trust, everything, put in the hands of the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and you're gonna be good, man. Come, okay. it says this is Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Right. So only the only the righteous is going to be able to, you know, um, access that name of the Lord. Two-thirds of our people, they're not going to be able to, you know, call on the Lord's name and be saved by it. Especially not no damn heathen. You know, not no Edomite, not no Hamite, Japhite. Heathens, that's totally out the picture. But two-thirds of our nation, they don't even know the name of the Lord. And if they do know the name of the Lord... They not putting respect on the Lord's name, man. Okay? So they not running to the name of the Lord. They're not going to be safe. All right? The, the name of the Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is not going to be a covering for them, but only to the righteous, which is the elect, man. The ones who doing this word. The ones who, you know, uh, doing the Lord's will and the multitude that follow after the elect. And the scriptures say, thou shalt not take the Lord thy power name in vain, man. You can't take... The, the the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, our great king and our great power, as it ain't nothing. Like, you got some captains say, 
You can call them whatever you want. You can call them yo play yogurt. You can call them sweet Jesus. You can call them whatever you want to. That's taking the Lord's name in vain. That's our key to salvation. Knowing the name of the Lord, being able to call on your power. Without that name, I mean, hey, man, what you got, man? That's bullshit, but this is uh, Malachi chapter 1, verse 14. But curse is he, curse be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrifice unto the Lord corrupt thing. For mm -hmm. I am a great king, said Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So you, the Lord's name is so powerful that even if you mention it amongst these heathens, they're gonna feel it, man. They're gonna feel. They're gonna feel a. They're gonna feel uncomfortable. They're gonna feel offended. You know, they're gonna get scared. They're gonna feel like their life is in danger or some shit, man. They can't even say the name, man. It's dreadful to them, man. Ah, that's cause it's the, the Lord is so powerful, man. You know, the Lord is so powerful. Hey, think about how Jake, how Jake always want, you know, respect on their name, man. You know, because your name, it carries out a legacy. A name carries out a legacy. It carries out your remembrance, who you are. I'm going to okay? get that for you since you said something. Come on. Well, you can get it. Uh, get, uh, get Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. Come on. This is... Ecclesiastes chapter 7. So I can bear with me. I'm about to grab this other one. Um, it's Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1. It said, A good name is better than precious ointment in the day of death than the day of birth of one's birth. And precious ointment can heal you in a lot of things, man. Precious ointment make you smell good, it make your skin glow, make you look good, and it heals you from your infirmities, man. You know, but the but a good name is better than that. You know, because if if somebody know you, somebody know you, they know your works, or they know your name, and basically your works behind your name is good, then guess that's 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 way better than precious ointment. You know, because guess what? Then people gonna start reverence you in a good way. Same you know, what you say, man. It's about your legacy and your stock. You feel me? Because think about this on a cardinal aspect. We come from the streets and we under curses, so they look at our parents for their names. God. Like, oh man, that's such and such son, or that's such and such nephew. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So on. your name hold weight. The basketball player LeBron James has won his fourth NBA championship. And he said, I want my damn respect. He said, the Lakers want their respect and put some respect on our names. So that name means a whole lot. Come on. Uh, this is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 2 and verse. I'm going to start at 38. Unless you got something else. Oh, no, this you got it up. Kind of lengthy or something. Cause I would. Yeah, All right, come. Yeah. Well, let me let me grab this real quick. If this even a scripture I'm looking for. Um, it's uh, Proverbs chapter twenty two. Let me say this real quick because we got a great power that can't lie. You feel me? So a a person or a deity that can't lie gotta have a great name. Come. Who else are you gonna be able to tell? It is. When you meet someone in the streets and y'all chopping it up and you have a conversation, I don't just get anybody my name. Come. But if I'm getting a good vibe from you and I can tell that you ain't on no bullshit, I'm going to give you my real name. Come. You feel me? Like, yeah, man, my name, such and such and such and such. Right. You feel me? Like, seriously, that Come. name, whole oh, wait, man, that name mean a lot. I got people that I've been knowing for years that still don't know my real name. Damn. They... Call me by my alias. Come on. <laughs> spirit. It's uh, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor 
rather than silver and gold. Because that's you get loving favor from a good name. You know, if somebody know all right, oh oh um uh random Kevin. Oh Kevin, yeah, he he do this, he do that, yeah. you know, he makes sure he keep himself clean, you know, he, he got morals about himself, he don't just eat anything, he don't just do anything, you know, he don't just be dealing with anybody. He got certain codes and certain rules and statutes he lives by, you know. He don't smoke, he don't do that, he don't do this. He read the Bible, he study the Bible, this, that, and the third. Then guess what? That's you the gonna, spirit. You I just... Come. <laughs> Not to cut you off, but I just said that about 45, 50 minutes ago. I say people look at me crazy because I tell them I don't eat pork, I don't eat beef, I don't eat steak. Lobster and shrimp. I don't smoke, and I read the Bible all the time, and I love Yahweh Bahasha, Yahweh Shah. You feel me? Because I want to have a great name right. with Yahweh Bahasha, Yahweh Shah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's how we made joint heirs with the Lord, man. You know. And then another thing is too. That's how you receive that love and favor. You know, is by having a good name. It says, um, and then great riches in gold and silver, that's something that's highly esteemed, especially right now in today's society. So having a great name being better than that, how much more, man? Yeah, because your legacy goes on forever, Ever, man. man. We on. got Edomites, you feel me? Alexander the Greek, Alexander the Freak, whatever they call him, man. Right. His name still... Rains on a little Christopher Columbus. Come, right. You feel Come. me? Those are people that you hear about way after they death, man, because Come. of that name. But this is uh second Ezra 2, and I'm gonna start at 38. Arise up and stand. Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world, and have received Glorious garments of the Lord, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of the children whom thou longest for, talking about the ones that sealed in Revelation, 144,000, oh. is fulfilled. But seek the power of the Lord, that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. Verse 42, I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. Because, you know, we is the scent of the sea. And it was a great multitude. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. Talking about the 144,000 being crowned by the hand of our great king, our big brother, Yahweh Shah of Mashiach. Come, come. It says, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. He was taller than everybody else. Mm -hmm. He was bigger in stature. You feel me? He, was, he the king of kings and the lord of lords. I, So I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered me and said, these be they that have put off their mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Now are they crowned and received palms. But they had that name. Come, they right. confessed the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and stood stiffly for the name. People try to tell you, well, man, you ain't got the name, and how you know that's the name? Because of faith through a right. spirit, man. Come. Because he gave us. His name. He gave us this beautiful truth, man. Right. Which so we go praise his name. And that's the spirit, man. This is all a gift, man. If you don't see the if you don't see this as a gift, the Lord giving you his name, if you don't see that as a gift, then this ain't you not worthy, man, honestly. Cause out of how many Israelites is dwelling on the earth right now, man? Only one hundred and forty four thousand is gonna receive salvation. That's a small number, man. And you got to, just like the brother just said, we are numbered as the grain of the sea, as the stars in the sky, man. You can't number that. All right? That's how many Israelites it is. You can't number that. 
one small grain of sea on one beach, that's a whole lot of sand, man. So 144,000 men, that's a sacred... Uh, that's a sacred multitude of people, man, that the Lord is dealing with on a higher level. You know, and Lord willing, we be those men who are enduring to the end. So, hey, keep that name, hold fast and to it, okay? Pray into that name. Read, study into that name. Fast and pray to that name, okay? And make Yahweh, who which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, He exists, and Yahweh Shai, which is the Savior, who is ignorantly called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, he delivers, is the one that's going to bring us through in Jacob's trouble, man. So, Lord willing, this was edifying through the spirit power of Yahweh Shai. With that, we're going to close out. And Shalom, Shalom, Mawakala Baba. Shalom.